are you guys doing? Yeah. There it is, there it is. We have a great show for you guys tonight. Guess what, Jeremy Ray Taylor is here from IT. Goosebumps, are you afraid of the dark? We also have the mu music of Eddie Gamusio. <laughs> Let's get it started. Oh, it's a spooky time of year, isn't it? Halloween. So we're going to do um, a special Halloween things I've noticed. Let's do it. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. I like these collars that kind of go back. <laughs> All right. Let's do things I've noticed, Halloween style. Ooh. I've noticed that of all the Halloween traditions, jack-o'-lanterns has to be the most Irish. <laughs> I've noticed that I once cut a, I once cut a pumpkin, and to get back in me, it decayed and left a stain on my porch. <laughs> Sir. I've noticed that you want to know what they call a hay rack ride where I'm from? Work. <laughs> We'd ride in the back of the tractor. It was work. <laughs> I've noticed that I had a haunted maze once. It gave me diarrhea for a week. <laughs> maze. Mo, it's maze like the corn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you don't have to get it. <laughs> you don't have to get it for it to be funny, said n no comedian ever. <laughs> All right, I've noticed that on Halloween, grocery stores start putting out the Christmas candy. <laughs> Since I've wanted, shoot, why am I reading that bad? Here we go, starting again. I've noticed that on Halloween, grocery stores start putting out the Christmas candy. Since I waited to the last minute, my trick-or-treaters got chocolate Santas. <laughs> Sorry, Ryder, that was my fault. <laughs> and finally, I've noticed Halloween night is a garage sale. Only everything's free and mostly edible. <laughs> edible. <laughs> That's things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. I want you guys to know I put myself on probation for that things I've noticed. I didn't read it well. <laughs> hey, there's Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> no, I think you'll like this one because you like pulling pranks on people and yes. are mean to people. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I just want to, through little asides, like start rumors about you. You know, Mo, she's mean to people. <laughs> all right. So, uh, you know, we all loved the, the TV show Punked, but uh, I saw this one recently that's like a, a Halloween version of it. I think you guys would really like it. Check out this video. Welcome to Punk It, where we got a cornucopia of pranks ready to go for some unsuspecting neighbors. Eva, Elmer? You all ready to go do some redecorating? Yes! Let's do this! <laughs> all right, go get them. Do your worst. You just got punkened? <laughs> Actually looks really nice. <laughs> okay, this neighbor has already been hit, but Eva and Elmer are about to hit him again. Happy Pranks giving! Hey, hey, you rascals better come up here. 
here and clean this up. Oh. Huh. I just got pumpkined. Our next target home is about to get Plymouth rocked. Let's see how they handle the flaming surprise. Dang kids. Candies? Hey, thank you. <laughs> Join us next week for Pumpkin Pop-Up Edition. Say, that's two ply. Two ply? Pumpkin! There you go. We'll be right back with Jeremy Ray Taylor. Stay where you are. That comedy bit brought to you by BRS CPAs and Advisors. Closed captioning provided by Paragon Architecture. What is vacation? Is it the activities or the rides or the water, the restaurants? Or is it something else? Something between all of that that you can't explain in a billboard? Because a vacation is being with the ones you're with. The fallacies of busy, stripped away, practices pushed down the road, no more being here while your mind is there. Because on vacation, there is only here, there is only with, there is only time, in a way busyness can't compete. Vacations are giggling, they're strolling, they're slow, their small hands pointed towards awe, wanting you to see what they're seeing. And what they see is you, looking back at them, all of you here, on vacation. The Mystery Hour is brought to you by 92.9 The Beat. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Welcome back, everybody. We have an amazing guest tonight. We also have an amazing guest sponsor. Whoop! The History Museum on the Square. They have an amazing Wild Bill Hickok uh, display. I don't know what you call it, display, where you can actually try and shoot the guy from across the square. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Our guest tonight, you have seen him in It, It Chapter 2, um, Are You Afraid of the Dark, Goosebumps movies. Please put your hands together for Jeremy Ray Taylor. Watch a step. There you go. This is huge. There's a lot of people here. Hi. Right? Wow. Hi, guys. We have a very good laugh track. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm curious when people, what's people's reactions when they see you? Because like, you, you play this great role in It um, and, and many other things, but it's also like a scary movie. Are people like, oh, I have warm feelings towards you, or are they like, ugh? Well, it's weird because like, you think people wouldn't be afraid of me because I'm the one who killed the clown. Yeah. But like, I, I, I went to the airport the other day, and they're like, I don't want to, I don't. Let's take it away. Here's your boarding ticket. <laughs> And it's like, I'm, I'm the one who killed the clown. I'm not, I'm not the clown. You're the good guy. Like, yeah, right. So Wait, I don't so that know why they're the, scared of me, but. That was like be. an airline staff person? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I, I live in the Tri-Cities, which is like the smallest town ever. Um, yeah. And we have, a, we have an airport with like six gates, so I know everybody there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and there's this one person that's like always scared of me. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm not the bad guy. But. but that is an interesting point. You don't live in, in L.A. No. Where do you, where do you live? Uh, East Tennessee, on a farm, actually. East Tennessee, on yeah. a farm. Yeah. How does this career possibly happen, then? Uh, it's, a, it's a weird story. I was in Nashville with my mom. She manages the band, and I kind of got a breakthrough with the mm -hmm. band. Um, and I was eight years old at the time, and I'm 16 now, so I've been doing this for half my life. I yeah, was, like, a few literally half ago. your life. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it just kind of, a lot of hard work and, and until I was 13 and got the role for it. And yeah. 
And it, it is, happens. it is, it is hard work. Yeah. It, and because that means you had a long time where maybe nothing was happening, and then smaller things are happening. How do you, how do you find like the confidence to keep going with it while you're a kid? Um, well, I feel like, I mean, acting is such a hard thing to get into, mm -hmm. and the fact that I got into it meant something. And yeah. like every single time that I wanted to give up and I wanted to stop. My mom would be like, all right, then we'll just stop then. I'm like, okay, wait, no, we don't, we don't have to do that. No, 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 no. I just mean I don't want to do the audition today. Like, we, yeah, yeah. well, um, so like I didn't, you know, I never really wanted to quit because I love what I was doing. Yeah. And I knew that, that people would give their right arm to do what I'm doing. And right. if I gave that up, I'd just be ungrateful. So, yeah. I, so I kept going. So how'd you feel, like there are people that um, have a great audition, nothing happens, have a bad audition, and they're like, I got it. How did the IT audition feel? Did you feel like it was a possibility? Um, well, it was really strange because um, I watched the original, like, clips from the original before I did the audition. Yeah. Um, and I was like, what is this? This is terrifying. Why would I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna live that. <laughs> right. Right. I have to go experience it. Yeah, exactly. It. Um, and my friends from Nashville were in, and I was like, mom, I don't really, like, wanna do this right now. Can we just, like, postpone it? And she was like, no, it's due today. I'm yeah. like, fine, I'll do it, I guess. And then it, happened. It worked yeah. out. Um, yeah. yeah, and I, I'm, I'm super grateful for it. I, I, I loved every second of it. So, uh, so then you've kind of like, you, you've, you have like a current niche. I know you, you're, you have the capabilities to do a bunch of different things, but like you're kind of in scary things. Yeah, being pigeonholed into the 90s horror remakes right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so specific. So specific. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so are you afraid of the dark? People loved it in the 90s. Yeah. And now uh, it's coming back. It's come back. Um, what do you do in that one? Um, well, this one follows. It's it's different from the original. Is any fans of the original from here? <laughs> wow. Um, so it's a little bit different from the original. Um, it was the original was like a new episode had a different story every single time. Yeah. Um, but this is a continuation. So it's yeah. three one-hour episodes of the same story. Okay. Um, so it'll be different, but you'll still feel like the nostalgia ness of of the old one with the Midnight Society and all that stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, and you get a uh, you get a flex some different muscles, and you have more of a comedic role in this one. Yeah, I do. Um, with it, I was like you know, the the new kid that was really shy and stuff. It's yeah. the complete opposite. And and are you the dark? Um, I'm more of the comedic relief. Uh, I'm a germaphobe. It's it's really fun to play a germaphobe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be scared of everything. Like there's like a mug, and you're just like, okay, whoa. <laughs> And it's like really unnatural because like I'm not a germaphobe at all. I'm, I live on a farm, <laughs> so you can't be right. Yeah, um, but yeah, no, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and but that's a proper response to this particular mug. Uh, <laughs> oh no, because it what goes it in mean? storage, and then I bring it out, and they're like, "You want some water in there?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> I mean, you can put it in there. I just won't drink it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you mentioned living on a farm, and you have siblings. Yeah, I'm the youngest of six. Youngest of six. Yeah. So um, I imagine that they treat you with more honor and respect now. Yeah, they keep me humble, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, like, I got bullied a lot, and, and it won. And all that is real, because my brothers prepared me for that. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, I just tapped into my, like, this is my brothers bullying me right here. And yeah. I just got in the mind state, and it, it worked. So yeah. thank you to my brothers for, for treating me like crap when I was growing up, and it prepared me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. They're not that bad, they're not bad, they're not bad. I love my brothers very much. You it, know how to this. act scared now. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> because, because of my brothers. You were. Yeah. <laughs> but is it scary in, while you're filming, like, because I've often had this thought, why do you put kids in horror movies? That seems like it would traumatize them. Right. But is that actually the scenario? Um, well, that's why they do it. It's because people are like, why would you put a kid in a horror movie? That's terrifying. You're right. Right. So you feel bad for them. That's yeah. the whole, you got it. You just yeah. figured out the formula, guys. That's, yeah. that's it. Um, <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it's like, it's not the scariest thing in the world because there's yeah. a lot of presence there. You know, there's yeah. people behind the cameras and stuff, so you're right. not completely alone. But there are times where you're like exploring the sets before you film in them. Uh -huh. And then there's like a guy with a chopped off arm and you didn't know that was supposed to be there. And you know, there's random things. Yeah. Um, so it can get scary at certain points, but most of the time it's, it's pretty good for the most part. Did you do press junkets for the movies? I did. I've done a lot of those. Now is that, I'm so curious about this. This okay. is, this, I mean, maybe I'm derailing the interview here, but I'm so curious about those because you have a movie coming out mm -hmm. and then you get sat in a room and you stay there and then one reporter comes in, another reporter, another reporter. Is that how it goes? Yeah, exactly how it goes. 
And you have to try to not give the exact same answers all the time? <sighs> well, it's, it's strange, because like, I try and tell a different story every single time, Yeah. but you just run out. You can't, I mean, right. r like, there's not enough stories for, for every single interviewer. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you end up just like, saying the same thing over and yeah. over and over and over and over. Is and this... the funniest part is like, the interviewers are like, this is probably a question that you've never been asked before, ever. Um, was it scary, filming? <laughs> and I'm like, wow! That's a shocker. Hold on, let me think about that. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. I had to, I had to. <laughs> I'm never being brought back on the show, ever that was again. It. <laughs> you set that up, I was like, this is a real answer. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You just pulled me into the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next for you? What do you want to do? Because I, I imagine you, you seem to like it, mm -hmm. uh, and you're growing up, and you're, you're do you want to have a long career? What do, you want, what do you want 10, 15 years from now? What do you want people to say your career is, or what does it look like? Um, that's a really tough question. I... Was that a new question? <laughs> All right, I get it. I mean... Um, that isn't something I would get asked often, yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I want to branch out. Um, yeah. I love doing the horror stuff. I think, it's, yeah. I think it's a blast, and I love the practical effects and, and seeing that stuff. And it's actually opened the horror genre for me. I, I love horror movies now. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I'd love to branch out. Like, Are You Afraid of the Dark was such a wonderful experience because I got to branch out and do such yeah. a different role than Goosebumps and, and It. So I'd love to branch out, um, obviously. A thing on my bucket list is to get an Oscar. Hopefully, yeah. at some point, that'll happen. Um, Oscars, yeah. Yeah. please. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, um, I want to keep acting, for yeah. sure. You just want to keep doing it? Yeah, I Well, think so. you now have all of us cheering for you now. There Thank he is, you. Jeremy Ray Taylor. Good job. Travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. The Mystery Hour is brought to you by the Springfield, Missouri Convention and Visitors Bureau. To learn all about the incredible experiences you can have right here, visit springfieldmo.org. <laughs>
He greets me gently by the fire I'm curled up like a child Feeling worn in pain I barely now know my name Hey there, could you tell me what's happening? Still got it. Still got it. Thank you, man. Eddie Gamusio, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight goes to Empower Abilities. We'll see you guys next week.